Welcome to Understanding an IV Medication Label. At a quick glance, it really is very busy. There is a lot of information. We try to embolden the titles of the fields and separate them to make it easier to read. Let's take a moment to walk through all the information listed on this example. In the upper left corner is the name of your infusion pharmacy and where we are located. This is where your medication is actually made along with the 24-7 phone number for questions or concerns. Please try to save your calls for regular business hours whenever possible. Your name is listed right here. Always verify your name is on the medication label. You are assigned a unique identifier we use here in the pharmacy. It's listed here. Your address is listed below your name. This is the address where your deliveries will be made. Please let us know if this needs corrected. The prescription has a number listed here, much like a retail pharmacy medication. The prescription date is the date your physician prescribed the medicine. This is the physician that actually prescribed the medicine. Dispensed is the date we made your medicine here with the number of doses listed beside it. Please count the doses when they arrive. This helps us identify when to follow up with you and for the next delivery. Here is where we list the initials of the people who actually made your medicine and verified it is appropriately dosed, compounded, and correctly dispensed. Do not use after the date listed here. Compounded IV medications carry very strict guidelines in regards to it being sterile and stable. Therefore, they have a shorter shelf life than most oral medicines. Though most IV meds would not be harmful to infuse beyond this date, we cannot guarantee you will receive the full prescribed dose. Here is the name your of your medicine the way it was supplied. Below is what we use to turn the drug into a liquid. Directions define when and how to properly take your medicine. Storage will show where to keep the medicine. It also discusses when to remove it prior to administration. Most IV meds will need refrigerated, not frozen. Refrigerated meds we typically want at room temperature before you begin to infuse. Cold medications may take longer to go in. If you forget to remove your medicine from the refrigerator ahead of time, do not skip the dose or use any method to warm the medicine. No ovens or microwaves. Keep it close to your body to warm it up is preferred. The caution at the bottom is a standard warning reminding you this medicine is specifically for the patient on the label, not to be shared with friends or family. We just reviewed a sample label. Of course, IV labels are specific to the patient and can look different. Call us if you have any questions.